bunch of heirloom tomatoes. Greetings, my name is Alfred Melbourne and I'm the founder and director of Three Sisters Gardens, a native and indigenous led nonprofit organization in West Sacramento, California. But I'm more than that. I'm a son, a brother, a community activist, and an artist. As a Native American, Indigenous Peoples Day is about truth and reconciliation, acknowledging the first people of this land and the practices of sustainable and regenerative agriculture by those people that have been here since time immemorial. Three Sisters Gardens is actually um, corn, beans, and squash. So these are traditional Native American companion plants where they grow together perfectly. So the corn takes a lot of nitrogen to grow so you add beans in there, which are natural nitrogen fixers. So the beans adding nitrogen, the corn take that up and they grow tall and the beans start growing up the corn right along with it. Then you plant the squash in the ground, which has big, huge leaves that covers the ground that keeps the soil moist and also inhibits the weeds from growing. So these three plants have been growing together for thousands of years by Native American people to support themselves. So for me, this is the most important thing, having these youngsters out here teaching them, having a safe space for these little kids to come out um, and share a good, safe environment where we can show them how to grow and um, let them connect with the land. Being able to have this space and have these youngsters come out here and sharing it with us is paramount so they can get uh, their hands in the soil and they can see where their food is coming from. And also to inspire them so that if they want to grow food or they want to connect with the land that they have space. We got started here in the neighborhood um, with one small farm out of a necessity um, to engage our youth, give them something to do. Um, myself personally, uh, being born and raised in the community, uh, there wasn't a lot of opportunities for us. So knowing that, had to create different um, pathway and um, something for these youngsters to stay busy and off the streets. So just kind of relying upon my own personal history story and my culture, uh, we started Three Sisters Gardens. And from there, uh, we basically, we have four farms now here in the community where we're growing food, giving back uh, with the most unlikeliest of youth uh, in our communities at Potential Youth, showing them how to harvest um, and distribute these organic vegetables. You know, so our area out here, we're uh, actually located in a food desert. So from the railroad tracks over here behind me to the river, you know, is designated a food desert. So once, you know, I mean, we became aware of this, we knew that there had to be something that, that we could do for ourselves out here. So um, the forming of Three Sisters Gardens, you know, we rely on our native indigenous knowledge and planting these, uh, these fields so that we can provide for our community. Yeah, so at Three Sisters Gardens, our goal is to give away 40, up to 60% of our vegetables here locally to food and secure homes. So we do that by um, having a weekly free farm stand at our Cummings Waste site. So um, just, it, it helps out a lot of the folks in our community, giving them a place where they can come and get free food regularly right there where they're at, where they live, by folks in their neighborhood. We like to use a sustainable, regenerative um, methods where we're taking care of the land and not taking too much out of it um, so that it continue to produce over time. We use low-till, no-till methods where we don't turn our soil and disrupt things. We also um, use drip irrigation and cover cropping throughout the season so that we're constantly giving back and putting nutrients into the soil so that we're not taking too much out. 